Hi everyone, this is Lynn and you're watching Crazy for Crafting. It's time for another video tutorial and today's project is um, another gift card holder. Um, but you can make two out of every 8.5 by 11 uh, piece of card stock, stock or um, DSP that you have. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and then when you open it up, there you go. You have your card right here. And this is real quick and easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, today we're going to do this with the new Beyond the Garden. And since all the flowers, as you see, are going one way, um, we're going to start with making sure that when we bend this over, we've got it going the same way. And this is four and a quarter by 11. And then we're going to score it. Okay, so we want to score at 10 and a half. Okay. And then from, go to this side, I know it's a little goofy, but two inches. And then move it just to the very next little line. We want that extra one. Six and a quarter inches. Okay. You paper this way. And we're going to go one and a quarter. Okay. Now, right here where you did the six and a quarter, you want to put one more line. And I forgot that. And that would be a five and three quarters. But the line only goes from this one and a quarter mark that we did down this way. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you even get to see any of this? Okay, so we've got a two inch mark. We've got one at six and a quarter, one at, uh, and one at uh, ten and a half. Then we turn it this way and we do it at one and a quarter and then come back and after we make that line from the one and a quarter down on the five and three quarters. Okay, so now this is basically ready to go and you will fold it really good and these lines then you're going to take from this little one that we put at the five and three quarters up okay and separate that I'm going to separate that and give it a little tiny edge off of it Same with this side. And then we're going to take our score out and use our cutter. And from that up, from the one and a quarter mark down here, we're going to take this piece off. Then we're going to turn it this way, put it on three, bring this down to the five and three quarters part, straight down. Okay, now we're all done with that part. So now you can fold this one and this one, and you fold it up. And this is basically your gift card holder. But now what we're going to do is on this piece we're going to take the big scallop circle, the two and three eighths. And what you're going to do is you're just going to line it up with that one and a quarter fold kind of in the center and press this little piece out. Then you're going to move it over 
to the edge, oops, press a little more, and then move it over to this edge so that you got, can you see that? There you go. Okay. Now, to make this top piece like this, is curved, I took and cut out, and used some good cardstock for this, three circles with the circle punch that's one and three eighths. And what I do is I lay this here where the score line is. Okay, and then you lay this one on the score line. So you've got it on the edge and on the score line, on the edge and on the score line. And tape these two together like that. Okay, then you take this third one, hold these on that score line again, and place this one on it until it's on the edge at the top here. Okay. And center that and take that down. Okay, now you've got how you make your design. So we're going to take, okay, we're going to set this back, make sure it's on the crease, and we're going to take a pencil and we're going to draw just like that. You want to do it with a pencil so you can erase it. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut this. Okay. One more little piece here. Take an eraser. Make sure you get all this off here so you don't see it. And there you have your tab. Now, so that you get the slice here in the right position, you're going to butt this back up against it. Okay, so it's on the score line and in the center. And you're going to make a little pencil mark right here and right here. Okay. Then just take something to make a straight line from mark to mark. And take your X-Acto knife and go from edge to edge. Okay. And then you can remove that little mark there. Okay, so now you want this to hold real good, so you want to use a little bit of the sticky strip. There we go. Put a piece right here. And one right here. Okay. Peel that off. Bring this up and press it down. Okay, so now. There's your holder right there. And then where you cut that little slit, that will go in there perfectly. So now all you need to do is decorate the way you want. Um, I used this little punch and Okay, there we go, and then 
Okay, we're going to use the designer label. We're going to punch one out in white. And then here's that one inch strip that was left off of that. And we're going to cut two of these out. And do my thing like this again. Put on there. And I'm going to use from the stamp set a word for you from you or a word for you. I'm going to use the for you from me. And so I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to use the pumpkin pie, I'm sorry, tangerine tango. And rub this on here. There we go. That was uh, one of the little spots. I like to use those. And now we're going to use the opposite side of this. So we're going to take a little snail down the sides. <coughs> Excuse me. And Okay, and where this is stuck in, and this is the top, we're going to take our wonderful dimensionals. way so you can see it better. Put it right there. Okay. And then I took, okay, if you can see that, I took a piece of Whisper White that's uh, the satin strip down through the organza and took the Daffodil Delight Reinker because we don't um, I don't have the uh, the Daffodil Delight Satin Ribbon. So I wanted this nice and bright. And I'm just going to make a little bow. Now you can make it wider and go around it. But I'm going to use my handy dandy little bow maker here. Remember you put one side here. Bring the other side around. Hold it with your finger. Bring it down through the center. Okay. Make that little loop up. I set it down and bring this loop up under there. Okay. And pull it up between those legs like that. Okay, can you see that? That's the back. This is the front. And you just keep pulling that one up like that towards the other end of it. And then this will slide off. And voila, you have a perfect little bow. Now the side I use made me a one and a half inch bow. And then I'm just going to Clip the ends off a little bit. Use a pop up. Okay, and we'll place this down here. And then just turn these the way we want them. And voila! There you have your little gift card and like a uh, gift card holder. Like I said, this is 
four and a quarter by eleven, so you can make two of these from each eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock. Now, um, this is designer series paper. It's beyond the garden, and um, then of course you have a different color inside. Now you can do it in a solid piece. I actually have one here where it's solid, and then you can actually decorate it with some uh, designer series paper, but they're very nice just out of designer series paper like this. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, and I'll be back soon uh, with another video. Have a good day, and uh, I'll see you soon.